worst <laughs> take. And it is on behalf of uh, the All the Smoke podcast, Al, where mm. Steven Jackson and Matt Barnes were giving their top five Knicks of oh. all time. Top five Knicks of all time. Let's hear what they had to say here. Here we go. Knicks of all time, and this shit ain't gonna be easy, Jack. Mm, not at all. Number five, Nick of all time, Patrick Ewing. Mm, number five, huh? Headed to New York, October 7th, all the smoke times Larry Johnson, Gramercy Theater. Is Melo top five to you? Top five Knicks of all time? I think six or seven years there. Didn't have a ton of success, but put the ball in the basket like no other. <laughs> Yes, he's top five to me. Okay, so number four. Let's go. You know, let's go with Carmelo, man. Let's go with Carmelo Anthony, number four. I think for me, three, you know, winning winning means something to every organization, especially if you're there. So for me, three, I got to go Earl Monroe. It was hard not to put Bernard King there, but he only played one year, and he didn't have any success. But no, I, he think put he, up crazy I, think, I think he played three years. Three years. Oh, there, three years. Right? Three years there, yeah. One year, at one oh, state right. average 30. Yeah, yeah, see, that's Falling crazy. It's, it's hard not to put him in there, man. Yeah, definitely. I mean, when I think of Bernard King, I definitely think of him in the Knicks uniform, but I feel you. Number two, came out there and put it on the line with one leg. Made a crazy comeback. Let's go with Willis Reed, man, a double-double Got machine. Got two. Got two chips there. Number one, Jack. Number one, I mean, he's definitely the most decorated Nick. Uh, he's probably the biggest name when you go to the games now still. Still. And he's probably one of the uh, the worst dressed people ever on earth. So, <laughs> uh, I'll definitely go with Walt Frazier. Hey, man, you probably couldn't tell him shit back in the day, though. He was fly. <laughs> you can't tell him shit right now. <laughs> All right. So that's our five. Clyde Willis, Earl the Pearl, Mello, and Ewing. Your thoughts here, Al? There's no way that Ewing should be five and Mel should be four. Yeah, no chance. And I like I like Mel. You know, great fives when he when he first joined the Knicks. But there is, if we're talking how winning is important, how do you have Ewing at, below Mel? That's just crazy to me. Yeah, Clyde and, and Reed make sense as one and two just because they won the chips. And if you're going to consider a rings, Earl, Earl the Pearl Monroe, lethal score, four-time All-Star when he played. And I get it. And you had Clyde and Willis, or seven-time uh, All-Stars as well. I'm, I actually don't hate the list too much, but the Ewing and Mellow thing really just is just like throwing me off, man. Yeah. I, I really can't. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me yeah there's no way I, I i definitely can't do that so yeah there, there's just no way man i'm gonna put like see like what like when we say greatest are we gonna are we gonna put rings above all or are we gonna actually put talent you, you know gotta what be, i mean it's tough because like Clyde and willis had talent monroe had talent yeah Mel and Ewing all, all have ta- like these guys all have talent. Yeah, I'm not too upset with one, two, three because you're talking about getting given the guys, Clyde and Willis who were here for both championships. They're yeah. due as one and two. Fine with Monroe getting the third spot because he's got one ring. Yeah. as a Nick, and then it should be Ewing because great talent, you know, dominated the '90s with yeah. the Knicks. Yeah. Right? Like, he should go above Melo because Melo had three playoff appearances with the Knicks, man. Three. And yeah. some may even argue that Melo should even be top five. I, I got to put Melo. I'm putting Melo in my top five. Yeah, I'm putting I'm putting him up there because, like, talent-wise, on like, what, like, 2000s was just rough. Yeah. So, he's definitely top five. But it's got to be Ewing at four, Melo at five. <sighs> Here's my list, man. You ready for my list, man? Yeah. Put Bernard King in there, CP. Is that it? Uh, here's here's my list. You put a Bernard King in there, aren't you? I'm putting Clyde number one. Mm-hmm. Putting Clyde number one. Skill set, two rings. I'm putting, you know, game seven clutch performance. I'm putting Clyde number one. I'm putting Patrick number two, man. Wow. I'm putting, I'm putting two. him number two over Willis. Okay. Willis had the two rings. 
but Patrick was 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 a more dominant player. Do you know? More competition, more teams. Jordan era. Didn't get it, didn't get the job done, didn't get the ring. But talent wise, you know, two way force in his prime. Mm-hmm. I'm putting him two. I'm putting Willis three. I'm putting the Pearl four. And I'm putting Mellow five. I'm Ewing two. Wow. I'm putting I'm putting Ewing at two. I'm put I'm putting Ewing at two, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, this comment in the chat, we're, we're going to discuss that one in a second, but mm. Ewing, too. Wow. Yeah. Like, super talented player. I mean, look, so, t- look, the, you'll get the numbers that are retired in the Raptors. He's the only one that doesn't have a championship with his yeah. number up there. So, and rightfully so, it should be up there, retired. Yeah. yeah. But two? Like, you're, you're, so you're telling me that, the name of the game, which is to win a championship, you're putting the talent above all. Yes. For the other two. For I, the other I, guy. I wow. think I think he he is a case where you have to factor that in. I mean, Patrick Ewing. I mean, look, Willis did win the MVP, but again, different time. I mean, Patrick Ewing had some monster years, bro. 28, 10, 3, 4 blocks. I mean, he had year, he had he had look at this stretch right here. Top four MVP re- voting, top five, top eleven, top five, top four, top five, top four. That was from eighty. That was from eighty eight to ninety five, ninety four, ninety five. I I got I got to put I get, he deserves that. I got to put him too. I'm putting them number two, man. Clyde, Patrick, Willis, Pearl, and Melo. Yeah. If anything, I think if anything, I would say three. Because I still think you gotta give the hist- I think you gotta give Willis his all due. Uh, come on, man! This man walked out there with a bum leg, inspired the team in a game seven, helped them win a chip. I- for sure. And then, and then sure. on top of that, you're talking about the guy. Hold on. He, Willis Reed went up against the guy, Will Chamberlain, who scored 100 points, but yet yeah. then had his tail between his legs because Willis look, Reed walked out that locker room. Uh, uh, what does look, that say? Willis Willis did face off against Kareem, Luol Cinder, Bill Russell. He did tango with Chamberlain. Patrick had to deal with Elijah Juan, David Robinson, Shaq. Greats in their own respects as well. I, I just think you you have to factor in him being a two way force in his prime and his overall talent. Rings mm. be damned. You know, Starks ain't pricking away. This is a different conversation. He's he's probably number one. I'm putting him. 